Hello everyone, it's your boy Dr. Obaino, the Niger IMG Doc. Welcome to yet another video on my channel. For those of you who are just joining this channel, on this channel what I do basically is share with you experiences that are related to the journey towards becoming a resident in the United States of America from the perspective of a Nigerian international medical graduate. So, click that subscribe button, turn the notification button on, and also share these videos with your friend because you never know you may be helping someone. i know it's been a while since i uploaded a video but trust me a lot of things have been going on from finishing residency to taking a break so i could study for my body exam to sitting for my body exam to passing my body exam yeah i passed yes i passed my body exam and i'm officially board certified by the american board of internal medicine yay if you haven't seen the video where I checked my result and celebrated, better go watch it because you're going to be inspired. Today, I'm going to be talking about the U.S. medical system and also try to compare it with the medical system where I went to school, which is the Nigerian medical system, the MBBS, the British system. The reason why I'm making this video is a lot of times I get questions from people and you have uh, these questions about what, who is a resident, who is a fellow, and the one I get from people when I tell them I finished residency is, so are you now a consultant? You are now a hold consultant. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. So now, are you now a consultant? <laughs> this video may not be as extensive as you may want it, but it's on you to go back after you watch it, try to read up a few things. The, the reason I think it's important is if you're going on a journey, it's important you have the knowledge of that journey which you are going in Nigeria, you go straight out of high school into medical school, and then you study medicine for six years, approximately. And then, after you graduate from medical school, you do a compulsory internship, what we call housemanship or house job, after which you do a compulsory one-year service to the government, a scheme known as the National Youth Service uh, Corps, or NYSC. After that, if you want to go into residency, then you have to take the primary fellowship exam in that particular field which you want to say you want to do internal medicine say you want to do surgery so you write the primary fellowship exam in that field so when you get you pass and then you get accepted you start your residency training you start as a junior resident uh what we call junior reg and or, or reg you become a registrar and after a little while you take your part one exams after you pass you become a senior registrar and after training as a senior registrar you take your part two exams and then you become a consultant here in the united states a consultant is an attendant and i'm going to talk about this part as we move on in this video so that's the nigerian system so when you come into the united here in the u.s people don't go straight out of high school into medical school so they study for four years to get their bachelor's in different fields after the four years, then they take the MCAT exam and then go into medical school. So medical school training is four years. And the first two years are like the, the preclinical years, what we have in Nigeria. So it's like you study your anatomy, physiology, pathology, pharmacology, all that. Then the second two years, which is the third year and fourth year, is the clinical year. So they spend those times in the hospital, rotating through different specialties. Now, after medical school, they apply into residency. So you go from medical school into residency, into that particular field that you want to. So as opposed to back in Nigeria, you have to do a housemanship or internship. Here, the first year of residence is what is known as the intern year. And also, you go straight into the particular field which you want. So you're applying for residency in a particular field. Remember I said in Nigeria, you finish medical school, you go into housemanship, and in housemanship, you rotate through different fields, uh, medicine, pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology, and also surgery. But here, from medical school, you apply straight into residency. Now, getting into residency, so in medical school, after your first and second year, then you take your step one exam, the USMLE step one exam. So every medical student in the United States takes the USMLE. So they take their step one after their first and second year, and then they take their step two after their uh, third and fourth year. And then they go into residency, and in residency they can take uh, step three. 
So most of us who come here to practice, a lot of us would have graduated from medical school. So we take those exams after we have graduated, but the Americans take it while they are in school. So now, I'm sure at this point, you've gotten that you go from medical school straight into residency. So you apply to that particular field that you want to. But if you have further questions, please hit me up in the comment section. Hit me up in the DM. i answer your this. Like I said earlier on, this video is not going to be extensive, but if you have any further questions, hit me up in the comment section, send me a DM, I'll be happy to answer you. Uh, to, recap, to, to recap, I told you about the Nigerian medical system. I told you about the American medical system, whereby you go uh, from... And to recap, I told you about the Nigerian medical system. I told you about the U.S. medical system whereby the duration of residency in the United States varies, but it's a minimum of three years. So you have fields like internal medicine is three years, family medicine is three years, uh, pediatrics is three years, uh, psychiatry is four years, uh, and then surgery is like five years. Another concept that is also different from Nigeria is the concept of fellowship. A lot of times people ask me, Oh, so are you now a fellow? So you're not a fellow. You finished residency. Are you now a fellow? Here in the United States, fellowship is a completely different thing. Now, what is fellowship? Fellowship, you are training to become specialized in a particular field. I'll give you an example. You finish your residency in internal medicine. Then you want to be a cardiologist. You want to be a nephrologist. You want to be a gastroenterologist. Or maybe you did psychiatry. You want to do child psychiatry you want to go into neuropsychiatry you know you have to do a fellowship in that particular field so that's what that's the difference so the duration of your training of your fellowship you are known as a fellow i'm sure that is clear now when you finish your training then you become an attending in that field now, what is attending in general? Attending is someone who has either completed residency or completed fellowship. For those people who finished a residency and they don't want to go into fellowship training, they don't want to go into subspecialty training, they're automatically attendants, just like me. And for those who also want to do fellowship training in the future, as long as you finish residency, you are an attendant. Like I said earlier on, this video is not going to be extensive, but if you have any further questions, hit me up in the comment section, send me a DM, I'll be happy to answer. To recap, I told you about the Nigerian medical system, I told you about the US medical system, whereby you go from high school and then you do like a four-year college degree, and then you take your MCAT, get into medical school. The first two years of medical school, I like the preclinical years in Nigeria. The next two years are your clinical years. And then you take your USMLE while you're in school. And also, you go straight from medical school into residency in the particular field that you want to. The first year of residency is known as the intern year, and that is the PGY1. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with people. Drop me a comment, send me a message, ask me your questions. I'll be more than happy to answer you. I believe now that I've explained the U.S. medical system, we can move to the next thing, which is talking about the USMLE. Shout out to my ninja IMG. You gon' blow something like Daddy BG. <laughs> Zero to hundred, man. This one, a freestyle mode. I love you, bro. Stardock say so, yeah.